in Egypt and in uh, Cambodia and here in Indonesia. In this moment of great global challenges, from global inflation to the climate crisis to Russia's brutal war against Ukraine, we're bringing together the broadest possible coalition of partners to deliver results. <clears throat> At COP27 in Egypt, I made it clear that thanks to the bold agenda of our administration, we pursue from day one to tackle the climate crisis and advance energy and security at home and around the world, the United States will meet, the United States will meet our emissions target under the, our targets under the Paris Agreement. I, I just met in person with Xi Jinping of the People's Republic of China. We had, <coughs> excuse me, we had an open and candid conversation about our intentions and our priorities. It was clear. He was clear and I was clear that we'll defend American interests and values, promote universal human rights, and stand up for the international order and work in lockstep with our allies and partners. We're going to compete vigorously, but I'm not looking for conflict. I'm looking to manage this competition responsibly. And I want to make sure, make sure that every country abides by the international rules of the road. And we discussed that. The one China policy, our one China policy has not changed has not changed. We oppose unilateral change in the status quo by either side, and we're committed to maintaining the peace and stability in the Taiwan Straits. It was also clear that China and the United States should be able to work together where we can to solve global challenges that require every nation to do its part. We discussed Russia's aggression against Ukraine, reaffirmed our shared belief in the threat or the use of nuclear weapons is totally unacceptable. And I ask that Secretary Blinken travel to China to follow up on our discussions and continue keeping the lines of communication open between our two countries. Looking ahead at the G20 meetings tomorrow, we're going to be talking, taking on the very issues that matter to the people's lives, not only here, but uh, also, uh, also our allies and our partners. That means tackling the suffering that Russia aggression has unleashed, not just in Ukraine people, but the people around the world, particularly food insecurity and strengthening the fundamentals of our global economy for everyone. Yes, I didn't find him more confrontational or more conciliatory. I found him what he's always been, direct and straightforward. And uh, do I think he's willing to compromise on various issues? Yes.